for the Kings. They sit number seven in the West, holding their own with good company, and they're just getting started. Thunder Kings, coming up on 2K Sports. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Let's see some of the numbers here for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And, guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. We are nearly ready for the tip-off, but first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Hey, Kevin. The Kings last season failed to snap their league-long playoff drought. Coach Luke Walton said it's about building a culture, getting on the same page, and getting better. I truly feel right now we're a much better team. So as a coach, I'm happy with where we're at and where we're headed. Kevin, back to you. I bet they are. Thank you, D.A. Now for the teams that are clearly rebuilding, should they simply play the young guns, Greg, no matter what, or should they make them earn their minutes? Kevin, you know, I don't know that there's a, a, a right answer to that. I think it's really about the personnel and the personalities of the guys on that roster. And really, the front office should play a big role in that as well. But it, it's, a, it's a hard call. You got to believe enough in those young guys to say, hey, that's our future. We're going in that direction. Uh, but you still got to also take care of your veteran guys who are kind of setting the table for your future. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Bradley is out there with Brown. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then there's Melodon. And it's Horde in at the small forward position. And for Sacramento. Box at the point with heel to his side. They're the backcourt. Marvin Bagley is out there with Davis. And it's Whiteside in at the center. Here's Heald. That's tipped. And it's Bradley with the rebound. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Sacramento. And looking back to last season, they won this season series, as you'd expect. And, yeah, and we'll see what or, or if anything has changed this year. Maybe it's still a matchup of the haves and have-nots. Or maybe the playing field's uh, a little more even. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game, getting the ball inside early. Passes to Melodon. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. And no good, his first shot of the night, missing. Outside, Fox. Pass to Heald. Brown against Bagley. Just four to shoot. Sacramento needs to get off a shot. They get it back. Dishes to Fox. He's off on that one. Some solid defense from Brown. Here's Horde. Second chance shot. Hassan Whiteside grabs the miss. The Kings have gone just one of four to get this game started. And finished off by Bagley. Excellent awareness in the open floor. Bagley reads these situations well and makes the right call right there. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. And De'Aaron Fox, a natural right-hander, but he plays lefty. Well, he's similar to Mike Conley. Guys like that, uh, more amphibious. I'm just joking, more ambidextrous. That they can use either hand at a high level. Fox, no good that time. And the Thunder going the other way now. And it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. Oh, the defense with no impact at all. Just didn't have the feel for his jump shot.
The Kings shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. Al Horford's checked in for Brown. And both free throws good for Davis. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make every one every time. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Look at the last game for Sacramento. It was a win against Houston. Fox, no good. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. Down low, here's Bradley. Great D that time from Bagley. Playing him tough inside and preventing the layup. Gotta get the whole team pumped up. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. Taking a look at Sacramento. Right now they're in seventh in the conference, looking to build on their record. And, of course, Oklahoma City. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. And, you know, for the Thunder, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. We all know talking the talk is easy, but carrying through, that's another story. The naysayers predictions were basically on point how heel after the miss three from Shea Gilgis Alexander well buddy Hill the consummate gym rat growing up in the Bahamas he built his own rim with a milk crate and would shoot all night his neighbors got so tired of yelling at him to keep it down he, he sprinkled broken glass under the rim to get him to move the hoop Free throw drops for Heal. And Greg, they said Heald would wait until his mom fell asleep and then sneak out to play basketball. And when she came looking for him, he'd take off running. <laughs> yeah, he, he preferred to catch that discipline at home more so than in public. But growing up in the Eight Mile Rock, a, a tough neighborhood, his mom rightfully very protective. Here's Melodon. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Utah. To the middle, healed on the double team. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's his first trip to the line. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. is no good. Kings leading now by three to the inside. Trying to get open his heel. That's good from Fox on the assist by Heel. Oh, no doubt that Buddy Heel can shoot with the best of. But it's encouraging watching him share the wealth as well. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Here's Melodon. No points in the game yet for him. 
they've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. The alley -oop play up very well done. Oh, this is what smart point guards do. Fox is adept at realizing the defense's mistakes and exploiting. Here's Melodon, currently averaging almost six points a game. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Sacramento grabs the miss. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. I mean, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. In the corner, Horford with it. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Kings have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Bagley in the post. And no good. Good work defensively by Horford. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Seven-point differential. Here's Horde, covered by Heel. Down to five on the shot clock. Aladon passes to Horford. Can't hit the free-throw line jump. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. <laughs> you ask Buddy Hill, he says he's not just a shooter, he's a maker. And boy, he's right. One, one of the great marksmen, not just in the league today, but in league history. I mean, look at the volume of threes he's attempted and his percentage. He's an elite company. A moment here to look at some numbers for Davis. Averaging about seven points, two assists, and two rebounds. And he continues to hone his game. I think the potential is there. Oh, yeah. You can see the potential, but it's raw. He needs to keep refining that skill set. Thunder trailing by nine. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Gilgis Alexander against Heal. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Six on the shot clock to stop the drought. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Bagley's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Heal. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. The Thunder with another miss. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit dubious. A perfect position to grab the rebound. Gets underneath, boxes out, and pulls it down. A floater, and it's blocked by Whiteside. Oh, no. Remember, Whiteside has had 10-plus blocks in a single game. A true swatting machine. Sacramento making some changes. Rashawn Holmes comes in for Hassan Whiteside. And it's Harrison Barnes in for Davis. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Horford in the post. Working on Bagley. The shot by Beasley, no good. The rotation in the D could be better here. It, it'll cost them next time if it's not. Takes the three. Rebound by Muscala. His scoring has not been there at all tonight. I mean, it tells you a lot about their team that they have the lead anyway. Here's Holmes over Muscala. Here's Bagley. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Gilgis Alexander against Heald. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the Sacramento Kings get called for the foul. A couple years ago, after making all-rookie second team, he knew Gilgis Alexander was good. But, Greg, last season, he went from good <laughs> to great. 
I mean, how about almost doubling his scoring average? Became a tremendous rebounder out break. of the backcourt. He gives you assists and picks up steals as well. Once he gains more strength, this guy could be a perennial all-star. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. A new generation of players, Greg, coming into the NBA alongside your son, Cole. Uh, we've got a lot of players who I think are going to have a long-term impact on this game. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Listen, I hope Cole can have the kind of impact that some of these guys are. But look at the Grizzlies. I think they got two terrific ones. John Morant has superstar written all over him. Brandon Clark probably surprised some people with his ability to have an impact. And if you look at this past draft, Obi Toppin is one to watch. This is a guy with great size and length who was a perimeter player until he had a growth spurt. So those are the types of players that I think when you combine athleticism and skill with the way the court is spaced, man, can have a tremendous impact in this game. And here now the Thunder after the Kings pick up two. And the pass to Muscala. Horford has a wide open look. Trains the three-pointer. Well, this is how much confidence Horford has in himself. It's what makes him such an efficient offensive player. Right with it. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Here's Barnes, and it's blocked. And going out of bounds, last touch by Barnes. Medu, he's checked in for Sacramento. Here's Dort. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. At the elbow, Horford. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Now, look, you can't forget about Orford. I mean, especially from the mid-range area where he gets it done. Gilgis Alexander against Wright. Medu passes to Barnes. No good on the shot. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. The feed to Horford. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now just a four-point Kings lead. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. Right, the pass to Halliburton. Got it. Good job in the low post. Halliburton's got his second basket of the night. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And he's back in business as a jumper finally drops for him. Gilgis Alexander's got six. Very aggressive in terms of looking for his shot. Nine attempts already, but only able to knock down two. Now, here is Halliburton. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Here's Dort. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. Harrison Barnes picks one up. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. The Thunder shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And the Thunder Let's making shot. a switch here. Williams has checked in. The Kings leading. And here's Halliburton. To the paint. Holmes, good. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Go, 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 go. 
Who's back up. And he sinks the layup. Eight points for him. Largely because of that length. Gilgis Alexander feeling confident attacking inside. Right outside. Now here is Halliburton. to the inside, Barnes, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Oh, uh, the muscle and focus on display right there. Barnes, not easy trying to distract him from there. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Williams. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Kings leading now by three. He tries for three. No oh, good on that one. And the Thunder going the other way now. This game coming after a loss against the Jazz. Yeah, they couldn't do any better than a shooting percentage in the low 30s on that night, guys. And that's pretty much a death sentence. Well, it all starts with ball movement. When your percentage is that low, you know you're not moving it well enough. You're not getting your guys to open shots. Basically, good. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Sacramento's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Right, the pass to Halliburton. Here's Medu. Holmes trying to free himself up. And he banks in the layup. And the Kings lead by three. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop. And then you gave it right back. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against the Utah Jazz. And he caused major problems with his defense as well. He had four steals by the time the game was over. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Tipped away. Arvin Bagley has been on display for Sacramento. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And when you consider how the Kings are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. Here's Dort. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So for Oklahoma City right now, we've got Williams, Mike Muscala out there with Brown. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Dort in at the two guard. Barnes can't get it to go. And Rashawn Holmes gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Aladon's checked in for the Thunder. Thunder trailing by five. Pass to Brown. The kick out to Williams. Three-pointer. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Mike Muscala. That's his first foul. And the Kings making a change here. Davis has checked in. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Sacramento leading by five. And here's Halliburton to the middle. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers? Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. That free throw, good from Holmes. Oh. 
Both free throws good from home. Oh, this is a big fella who has no problems at the foul line. I mean, a very smooth touch on the stroke. Aladon passes to Brandon. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. And the rejection by home. Here's Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. No, oh, he's a solid team player. He doesn't always look for a shot. He enjoys getting it to the open team. Thunder trailing by nine. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Brown outside. At the elbow, Williams. Now, here's Melodon. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Bradley can't get it to go. Sacramento leading by nine. A drive by Barnes. And it's Barnes shaking it down. And you see Barnes attacking any holes in the D he sees. Love that aggressive mindset. Oklahoma City's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Aladon passes to Williams. Round down low, guarded by Holmes. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. Here's Halliburton. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Kings shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. First free throw is good. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. The Kings making a switch here. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Thunder. Still looking for their first basket since the first quarter. And here's Bradley from three. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And Davis throws it down. And the Kings lead by 15. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're putting in the work at the defensive end as well. For Oklahoma City, they've gone an abysmal 0 of 6 from the field since the second quarter began. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And he's been trying to do it all himself, and, and it's not working. Instead of forcing shots, you got to focus on moving the ball and keeping everybody involved. Fields checked in for Halliburton. And checking out the numbers for Whiteside, the last 10 games, he has been on a heck of a run. 12th in blocks, 12th in shooting percentage. And don't forget, top 20 in the league in rebounds per game. He's got a great nose for the ball. And trying to muscle up shots against him is tough. His body type makes it supremely difficult. Just a dominant rim protector all season. Here's Heald. The Thunder pull it in. And still a ton of upside for Marvin Bagley. 
Talk about what you see. Well, oh, Jay, I, I see an agile, quick player off of the floor. I mean, we know he can play in the paint. I'm just interested in seeing how well he starts to stretch the game and become a three-level scorer. And dropping the sledgehammer there, he curbs a 10-0 run by Sacramento. Fox feeling it out a bit. Now here's Heald. He's tightly guarded, and it's blocked by Brown. And it'll be Sacramento as it goes out of bounds. The Kings retain possession. Just five to shoot. And he's missed every single shot he's attempted today, but, but somehow they're still in the lead. For the three. A shot by Melodon. No good. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him. And he knows it. The best thing they can do is try to get him more easy looks. Right side, good. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And the Thunder making a switch here. Horford's checked in. Here's Melodon. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And Terrence Davis gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Horford finds Brown. Nobody near Williams. Rebound by the Kings. Whiteside's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. There's always been a power aspect to Bagley's game. And every time he goes strong to the bucket, you get a taste of it. Pass to Horde. And here is Melodon. Outside, Horford. Shot clock at six. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Oh, with the power behind Horford's movement. It, it, it's terrific. It takes him right through the contact for a big finish. Now, here's Fox. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Rockets in Houston. And it was not a one-man show. That was the best part. He had just as good a game with his passing as he did with his scoring. And they need those kind of plays right now. Smart defense that generates some O. Outside, Davis. Here's Bagley. And finished off by Bagley. The aggressive offense from Bagley tonight is paying off. He's racking up a healthy number of buckets. Thunder trailing by 15. Aladon passes to Hoare. Here's Melodon. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Inside. Knocked away. And stolen by Whiteside. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. Now, we have seen continued growth with the NBA's affiliated leagues the last few years. Think about the explosion in popularity of the WNBA. Basketball Africa League, expansion of the 2K League, greater pay in the WNBA and the G League pathway, along with the unionization of G League players. The league continues to show its commitment to expanding opportunities on multiple levels. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. The first one falls. But what you love about Fox is the edge he plays with, a competitive, aggressive player who feels like he can take on anybody. A different look for Oklahoma City. Baisley's checked in. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Williams. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Thunder trailing by 17. Pass to Baisley. Outside, Horford. Down low. Paisley, good. 
Beasley's got his second bucket of the night. I mean, he does things that other bigs simply can't. Horford, a phenomenal passer for his position. Fox dishes the heel. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Gilgis Alexander. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. This is his second trip to the line in this one. First one falls for him. Yeah, we've seen Hill take a leap, becoming a more confident and, and assertive scorer and a leader for this team. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Both free throws good from Hill. Thunder trailing by 17. And Buddy Heald is going to pick up a foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. He was hoping to avoid a third foul before the breakup. Now, he might have to sit out until halftime. Gilgis Alexander against Heald. Horford, no luck. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And here's Davis for three. Thunder with the rebound. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Kicks to Muscala. A three ball. The shot. No good. So the Kings will take it the other way. It's Davis with the drop. Dort grabs the miss. Thunder trailing by 17. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Oh, great instincts. Relentless. Seems like he's getting to every miss. Here's a look at what's coming up now for the Sacramento Kings. On Tuesday, they'll host the New York Knicks. And then on Thursday, they'll be taking on Clay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. And, you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. And he makes the first. And this next draft, Chris, expected to be the last year of the one-and-done rule. Do you approve of the league once again letting high schoolers be drafted? Well, yeah, I think if we're finally uh, catching back up with uh, the world, if a man uh, can do the various things that you could do uh, after turning 18, why wouldn't you be allowed to go to a job and make money for your family? So, um, yeah, I definitely think um, it's the right thing to do. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City, trailing by 19. That's number two on him already, a third foul before the half, and he may be grabbing some foul. Oklahoma City shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Shooting two. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. And the effort level of Gilgis Alexander drew rave reviews from his college coach as the hardest worker and most coachable player on the team. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. So for the Kings, their last game a win against the Rockets in Houston. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game, great adjustments on the offensive end. In-game adjustments are critical. They did an awesome job taking what the defense gave them. And so it's Oklahoma City with it, following De'Aaron Fox's three-point attempt. Gilgis Alexander passes to Baisley. There's the pass to Dort. Lock at six. 
from 20 feet out. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Davis, the pass to Whiteside. And yes, it's good. And that length of Whiteside really coming into play. I mean, that's a good look for him. Thunder trailing by 19. To the paint. Here's Muscala. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. And it's Bagley in the corner. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The Thunder shooting a low, low 30% right now. An ugly offensive performance. Bagley with the block. Almost seven feet. Bagley has got the tools to be a great shot block. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Well, I remember when you get in trouble for shooting the three as a big man. Now teams want their bigs operating outside the three-point line. Outside, Fox. He kicks to right. In the corner, it's Whiteside. To the inside. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Four on three break. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Here's Fox, and he gets the bucket. Fox has got four points in the quarter. What creativity from the speedy guard. Fox enjoys showing off his sublime ball handling from time to time. Thunder trailing by 19. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Muscala. Here's Horford. Kept alive, Baisley. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. A uh, straight-up effort gets him those points. That's what it's all about on the offensive glass. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. And looking at the numbers for De'Aaron Fox, tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. Averaging about 22 points per, 8 assists, and 2 rebounds. And he does so much for this team, but it starts with the way he leads the offense. Yeah, he's willing to take on the scoring load, and he's more than capable of delivering. Now, here's Fox. Six points for him. And here's Barnes for three. Sacramento gets it back in a new 14. And it's Halliburton missing. Thunder trailing by 17. Baisley passes to Dort. To the middle. Reverses. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists tonight. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Now, here's Fox. He's covered closely. Here's Barnes, and the shot goes down. Barnes has got his third basket of the night right there. Oh, that's no run-of-the-mill finish by Barnes right there. He gets thrown off balance by the contact, keeps his focus, stays with it, and gets it to go. Here's Dort. Five points in the game. Passes it to Horford. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Rebounded by Holmes. 56 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Barnes. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Barnes has got six here in this quarter. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense in no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Harrison Barnes picking up that last basket. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Muscala. A three-pointer, no good. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. I mean, when you think of Fox, quickness comes to mind. He's downright lethal in the open floor. 
Gilgis Alexander with it. He's got 10. There's 21 seconds left in the first half, and so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. This is his third trip to the free throw line. free throws here in the second quarter very important when you're trailing nineteen seconds left now here in the second here's by Barnes and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And he's good on the second. Here's Fox. Eight points for him. Takes the three, and that one released in time, but no good. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Kings lead by 19. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Harrison, shots definitely falling in the first half. How did you guys get it going? Just us playing off each other, you know, trying to get to the basket, trying to work it around, you know, when this balance going like we have tonight, you know, everyone tries to, you know, feed off each other. Strength the numbers, right? Thanks, Harrison. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. A tremendous game we're seeing from Marvin Bagley. He ended up with 15 points, and it was 2017 when the Kings traded away DeMarcus Cousins and began to go young. Shat, that move set the stage for the rise of this young roster. Well, the West is tough, so if you're stuck in the middle, you have to get you start Ooh, Every move since then hasn't been that perfect, though. But, you got depth, you got talent, you got something to play. Maybe you should have took the job then. Yeah, that ain't awful enough. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. We're seeing a tremendous game from Marvin Bagley. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and guys are hitting their shots. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Box at the point with heel to his side. They're the backcourt. Terrence Davis is out there with Bagley, and it's Whiteside in at the center, filling out the middle. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. 
and it's Horde missing. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And just a great job of controlling that defensive backboard, then getting out in transition. That's been the difference. And here is Gilgis Alexander, following the three-pointer by Buddy Heal. Inside, Bradley. From down in the low post, it goes. Bradley's got eight points. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime with the defensive. Now, here's Fox. Healed outside. Shot clock at five. Here's Whiteside. They get the rebound. Goes up again. Healed. Can't hit. Might take them a little while to find their stride here in the second half. Only one for four so far. They just need to calm down, play their game. Brown is checked in for Oklahoma City. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. The, the defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Thunder trailing by 20. And here is Melodon. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Bradley deciding where to go with it. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got 13. And scouts question whether Gilgis Alexander could finish through contact. Here's your answer. Outside, Fox. Here's Heald. Right side trying to break free. The layup off target. Only one for five to start the half. I mean, whatever adjustments they made at halftime weren't the right ones. And this is Gilgis Alexander's responsibility to find his guys when they're open. Here's Fox following the score by Oklahoma City. On the wing, Heald. Three-pointer. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got six assists now in the game. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Now here's Melodon. Pass to Horde. Takes the 13-footer. It's hauled in by the Kings. 22 is their biggest lead. If he was shooting even a little bit better, the story of this game would be a lot different. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. 19-point game. A shot by Melodon. No good. Sacramento's gone 2 of 2 from long range in the third quarter so far. Healed. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Able to complete the play, but he's showing some strength, physical and mental. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Find the lane. Find the lane. Good shot. For Oklahoma City, they've gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Sweet little floater. Gilgis Alexander's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Sacramento leading by 20. Fox passes to Heal. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Back to Heald. Got a piece of it. Just five on the clock. Here's Whiteside. The shot. No good. Some solid defense from Brown. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Covered by Heald. Here's Brown over Whiteside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. They get Hassan Whiteside. 
for Oklahoma City. They have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. Free throw good from Brown. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for the Kings. And a switch here also for Oklahoma City. Williams has checked in. And Brown drops them both. Sacramento leading by 18. Now Fox, he's got eight. Kicks at the heel. Davis against Williams. Holmes trying to free himself up. And it's Davis missing. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Kings making a switch here. Barnes has checked in. Thunder trailing by 18. Now the pass to Brown. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on Rashawn Holmes. The Thunder have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. free throw missing that's off as well so he misses both well Harrison Barnes at 6 8 2 25 has played some power forward Greg, do you like him there or at his more natural small forward position? I think in today's game, Kevin, having the strength he does allows him to kind of hold his own. You know, you don't see a lot of foremen playing a lot of post-up in today's game. He's still got to be able to play in space and I think creates matchup nightmares for the opponent. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Now, here's Fox. He's got eight. And here's Barnes for three. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got seven rebounds in the game. Good on the bucket. Here's Fox, and we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Pass to Holmes. On the wing, Barnes. Krill's the three-pointer. Barnes has got 11. Uh, I've always respected Barnes' ability to hit from downtown. So important for wing players in today's NBA. Thunder trailing by 19. Now, here's Melodon, currently averaging almost six points a game. Oh, you have to appreciate the ball moving and the commitment to getting a high percentage look. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. 22 is their biggest lead. The offensive rebound. And the rejection by Holmes. The drive by Barnes. And it's Barnes shutting it down. Look at the explosiveness from Barnes. He took it right to the teeth of the defense. The Thunder have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. Brown feeling out of it. It's going by heel. And now Sacramento on the break. Fox leading the charge. Nobody near Barnes. Bagley. Three-pointer heel. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. And now, here's Gilgis Alexander, the fast-break chance. 
Oklahoma City the rebound. Now that's made a huge difference in this game, if you ask me. Their offensive rebounding has been sensational. And some changes here for the Kings. Medu, he's checked in for Marvin Bagley. And Halliburton subbed in for Fox. Kings leading now by 19. Here's Halliburton. Six points for him. And here's Barnes for three. And it's Melodon with the rebound. This three-point game hasn't been there for him today, but don't sleep on him. At any moment, he could get his touch back. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Here's Halliburton after the made shot from Shea Gildas Alexander. Healed outside. Beyond the arc. Offensive rebound. A second chance effort. Here's Barnes. And finally they hit one. Barnes has got 15 points. Oh man, coaches love seeing that. Barnes grinding on the offensive glass, turning a missed opportunity into points. Round the pass to Melodon. He's looking for Horford and finds him. Goes back up. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. But they'll get another chance. And can't hit the shot. But they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the free throw line. So far in the game, he's gone two for four from the free throw line. That one misses. They're not doing themselves any favors with their free throw shooting this half. And the Thunder making a change here. Beasley's checked in. He doesn't get the second one. Sacramento leading by 19 points. Heel the pass to Barnes. Shakes him. And it's good on the way in. 17 points in the game. Well, it looks like Barnes is in his bag today. His well-rounded skill set isn't easy to keep up with. Thunder shooting 42% from the field here in the third. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The teardrop falls in. Taking things into his own hands. He's been a beast this quarter. And here's Halliburton. He's got six. And Holmes now top of the key. Over Horford. Holmes can't get it to go in. His interior scoring is one of the things that drives their offense. Don't expect him to miss many of those. And that one, good. Faisley's got eight points. And for Sacramento, they're shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. Now, here is Halliburton. The kick out to Barnes. Sinks the triple. Barnes has got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Kings. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Thunder trailing by 20. Gilgis Alexander with it. And Buddy Heald is going to pick up a foul. That'll be foul number five on him. And due to the bonus, we'll be headed to the free throw line. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. He's made all five of his attempts at the line so far. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Mike Muscala is checked in for Brown.
on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Kings leading now by 19 points. Now, here is Halliburton. He's got six. They double him with Orpah. Halliburton passes to Medu. Now, here's Holmes. And Holmes throws it down. Such incredible hops for a center. Look, it allows him to hold his own against any other five men. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Pass to Muscala. Here's Dort. Softly drops in the floater. Dort's got his third basket of the night. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Here's Halliburton. Pass to Barnes. And here's Halliburton. He'll just Alexander cover. They double him with Orpah. And there's the pass to Medu. Barnes. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And never the star some predicted coming out of North Carolina, but Harrison Barnes still a quality wing in our league. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, mostly a straight line driver. I like him playing off the ball, spotting up and diving when the opportunity presents itself. And the first one drops. But at this stage of his career, Barnes knows who he is. He's a glue guy. He does a bit of everything. Terrence Davis, he's checked in for Buddy Heal. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Ford's checked in. Thunder trailing by 21. Pass to Muscala. Here's Baisley, covered by Barnes. Horford, no luck. Sacramento's gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. And Halliburton slams it in. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. And so here is Oklahoma City after the Kings pick up two. Dort passes to Horford, and the layup's good off the glass. Horford's got 11 points. Oh, he's a long and athletic big man. Horford's a dependable interior scorer now. There's 42 seconds left to play in the third. Barnes outside. Six to shoot. Davis finds Barnes. Back to Davis. He can't hit that time. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held him back as a team. And he just punishes the D for falling asleep at the wheel. And a little disorganized that time. And the result, two points in the loudest way possible. Oh, well, well, listen, guys, that was great work making them pay for the laps on defense. Davis up top. Here's Holmes. Off the mark. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's Sacramento up 19. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Well, I like that he didn't make his decision too early. You know, he let the play develop. That's how you do it. Finds the weakness in that defense. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So for Oklahoma City right now, they've got Horford. Gilgis Alexander out there with Melodon. Then it's Mike Muscala, and it's Horde in at the small fold. Now here's Barnes. 
That one wide left. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that was a stunner. Now, Gilgis Alexander launches a three. Muscala misses. Kings leading now by 19. Halliburton passes to Davis, and he gets it to go. Davis has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Kings. The Thunder shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. Gilgis Alexander with it. He's picked up by Whiteside. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the best. Yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. Bagley, he's checked in for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox comes in for Harrison Barnes. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Kicks to Bagley. Passes it to Fox. Teardrop shot, and he lays it up and in. And the Kings lead by 20. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And here is Melodon. Gilgis Alexander with it. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyrese Halliburton. That is his first foul of the game. Bradley's checked in for Oklahoma City. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Here's the lob to the hoop. And then Melodon with the dunk. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Now, here's Fox. Pass to Halliburton. Back to Fox. Right side dishes to Bagley. Shoots over Bradley. That one a little long. Thunder trailing by 18. Now, here's Melodon. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Feeds it to Fox. And the shot goes in. Fox has got four points in the quarter. Good seeing Fox work his magic down there. Looking unafraid. So he's not the biggest guy. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Aladon passes to Horde. Gilgis Alexander with it. Free throw line jump shot. Here's Melodon. Off target from three-point range. Kings leading now by 20. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 18 points just in the second half. He's really turned it around here in the second half. I mean, his offense has returned. Fox finds Bagley. An emphatic LU jam. An excellent finisher on those lob passes. If Bagley can get his hands to it, he will throw it down. Come to me, come to me. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. The teardrop falls in. Gilgis Alexander's got 31. But too bad this scoring hasn't been contagious. I mean, they'd be in much better shape if a few of their other guys could pick up some slack. Here's Whiteside. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Muscala's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now, he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. For Sacramento, they've gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Halliburton passes to Davis. Down low. Gilgis Alexander comes with the double team. The dish to Whiteside. Over Muscala. Second shot opportunity. Outside, Davis. 
Clock at six. Whiteside trying to break free. It's good on the putback. And the Kings lead by 20. Amongst the best hitting the offensive glass, Whiteside can pile up those second chance points. The pass to Horde. He kicks to Muscala for three. Bagley with the rebound. Kings leading now by 20. Here's Halliburton. Pass to Whiteside. Over Muscala. Whiteside, no good. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration that time. Here's Melodon. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Marvin Bagley picks one up. One falls for him. Buddy Heald, he's checked in for the Kings. Brown, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Both shots good from the strike. Now Fox. Outside, Davis puts up a three. Kept alive by Sacramento. And, and I just love how he's banging down low. His hard work will let them use some more of the clock here. Another shot. And Fox finishes it off. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the tunnel. Here's Melodon after the basket by Dion Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. How do you not love Fox? I mean, he's a crafty point guard who possesses some real power. Oklahoma City's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Brown finds Gilgis Alexander. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in the quarter. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Right side against Brown. Right side dishes to Fox. Got a piece of it. But they get it back. They shoot again. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Brown. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and, and luckily they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. And he makes the first. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. And so Bagley nails them both. Yeah, well, not many players were sought after as much as Bagley when he was coming out of high school. I mean, just about every big-time college had him on their radar. Passes to Horford. Back to Bradley. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. And here is Fox. To the middle. Here's Bagley. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got his eighth assist in the game. He, he's such a good finisher. I mean, Bagley does not want to waste his chances on the interior. Very explosive for a big. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. And now only one away from being in the penalty.
Here's Horford. Bradley trying to break free. Whether it's blocking shots or simply affecting Whiteside is one of the more disruptive defenders we've seen in Philly engaged. And finish off by Bagley. He does all the little things. I mean, he does the big things. I mean, he's got them in front with another outstanding performance. Now, here's Melodon. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Poke loose. It's stolen by Heel. Let's it go from deep. Sacramento gets it back in a new 14. And finished off by Bagley. Well, when you think of Bagley, the word energy comes to mind, especially on the offensive boards. Here's Melodon. Pass to Bradley. He dishes it to Horford. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Al Horford, the five-time All-Star, very much a leader on this team with his success in the league. Yeah, Horford has always been a guy that passes the eye test. The numbers don't jump out, but he plays winning basketball. Great head for the game. Knows how to compliment other stars. And that one falls for Horford. All, all Horford does is, is affect winning. I mean, in the locker room, practice, games, he's accountable. And he holds others to that same standard. Kings leading now by 23. Fox with it. The pass to right. To the paint. Here's Medu. That one doesn't drop. Good work defensively by Horford. Free throw good from Bradley. And so Bradley nails both of them. Kings leading now by 21. Davis looking for an opening to the inside. And there's Fox. That's good on the assist by Davis. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him, trying to push out that lead. The Thunder have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Sweet little floater. Gilgis Alexander's got 36. Oh, he's perfect from the field this quarter. He's giving them fits out there to the paint. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. And here's the break. Here's Melodon. Banked in off the glass. That's now eight points for Theo Melodon. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Outside, Fox. Down low, Bagley. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Now he's got the smarts to take advantage of over-aggressive defense. I mean, Bagley doing work inside to earn a trip to the line. Shooting two. First free throw is good.
And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. Pass to Bradley. Here's Horford. Good work defensively by Holm. Sacramento leading by 21. Outside, Fox. Inside, here's Bagley. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Bagley's got 16 here in the second half. It's been a clinical performance. He's played a huge role and, and has them in position to grab the W. For Oklahoma City, they've got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Here's Horn. He's guarded by Davis. Fox with the steal. Healed outside. Passes it to Fox. Dishes it to Bagley. Back to Fox. To the middle. Uncovered. And Davis puts it in. Davis has got four this quarter. Oh, look, when the D will give it to you, that's where you want your shots coming from. Arms length from the bucket. And Rashawn Holmes gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. And some changes here for the Kings. Silva's checked in. And Harkless is subbed in for Terrence Davis. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. And Al Horford drops them both. Sacramento with the ball. Now Fox. Pass to Harkless. 153 left to play here in the fourth. Outside Bagley. Clock is at three. Here's Silva. Good tee by Williams. Oklahoma City's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Back to Robinson. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game, and due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. That one is off. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Muscala's checked in. And he sinks the second. A disappointing trip to the line there. Even though it was just one miss, now is not the time to be missing those. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Sacramento. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season and you know when you look at the huge impact he had just a monster game for Marvin Bagley well he had a hand in just about everything they did tonight I mean he just didn't take a single possession off on either end he was the complete package and, and that was the last thing they needed now the clock is stopped and they put them on the line
first free throw is good. Sacramento making a switch here. Heald's checked in. And so he hits both. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here is Wright. To the inside. Here's Silva. Lays it up off the glass. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. Now the pass to Muscala. Robinson left side. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Well, they look like they just want it more right now. You, you got to love the hustle. Now here's Wright. From deep three-point range. And so it's Sacramento easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.